Okay. It's six o'clock, and this is the. I don't see the red light on. Yeah, it's on. Is it on? Okay. Sorry. Uh, are we re well, are we ready now? We'll let Alyssa do what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. We're ready. All right. This is the uh, March fifth meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being uh, videoed by um, Alyssa from Frontier Community Access Television for viewing by our residents and the public on demand at FCAT. First item on the agenda is the, um, the minutes for February 26th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Any changes or additions? They seem good. They're good. No? Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve the minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Okay. We have three vendor, we have three warrants, a vendor warrant for $89,918, a uh, payroll warrant for $107,140, and a payroll deduction warrant of $26,432. Uh, I'll make a motion that we uh, accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. So I usually go first. So, so I had one meeting this week, and it had to do with, and this is an opportunity to talk about it a little bit, but it had to do with the aggregation project that Conway is part of along with other towns in Franklin County. So we're looking to aggregate as many towns that haven't aggregated their electricity together and then have all of the t those towns eventually go out to bid for their electricity together so we have a larger amount of electricity. And uh, right now we're at the stage of the project where FERCOG has, is putting together the RFP that we will send out for, uh, for brokers who are interested in being our broker. And we had a meeting of all of the reps of about 10 of the towns came. There's about 13 towns right now that have said they're interested, a few more that are still thinking about it. Um, but So we had, we had the first meeting at FERCOG to talk about the RFP uh, and, and, and uh, Bob Dean from FERCOG, who's managing this part of the project, is going to be sending that RFP out. And uh, when we get the responses back, then we'll all meet again with FERCOG and, uh, and look them over. So, so Thursday, we had the first meeting of this. So this is the, the first meeting of all of the representatives of the towns who are interested in aggregating. Does he have a bunch of examples of RFPs for? Uh... Yeah, he's he's basing this kind of he's basing the the our project on a project that was done by a group that's referred to as SERPED. We say FERCOG, they say SERPED, Southeast right. Regional yep. Planning. Yep. Something and anyway. Economic it's, development it's, district. Yes. Yes. Yep. And so, 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 Serped did this about three years ago. Mm -hmm. They they went through the process, and mm -hmm. we're we're basically using their model. Bob has spent some time talking with the guy who did it down Ross, in Serped. Ross Perry. I don't know if they. Yeah. And uh, and and um, Bob is is uh, kind of following in their footsteps mm -hmm. because it went smoothly, as opposed to when Hampshire County tried to do it. And theirs was turned down by the state. So the mm -hmm. the way uh, Serped's um, model is the one that we're we're following. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're basically going to be using their their RFP uh, with some changes. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And and, and what what's it? I, it we probably spent a little longer than we should have trying to convince some towns to be interested in it, towns that didn't know anything about it. There was a lot of education. Um, I wish that we had had this meeting a month or two ago because um, we also brought to the meeting and are sending out to all of these reps um, the language that they ought to be putting in their warrants if they haven't passed language yet. And normally that's the kind of thing that we might look for the broker to do once we found a broker, but we're, you know, we're a month or two away probably from getting to that stage. And, and uh, by then it'll be too late to put things in the warrant. So we're encouraging towns to add a warrant article, even if they ultimately decide they're not interested, there isn't any harm in passing the warrant article. So, Absolutely. So, yeah. so, so um, could, could you shoot me a copy of that? I'd be interested to see it. The, the RFP? No. Or the warrant article? The warrant article. 
We could. We could put it in Conway. I'm not sure we need to, but we could add it to Conway. Yes. I would be interested. I'm just okay. interested in saying it. Sure. I, I could bring it to the board. We could look at it here. and we could just shoot it to me. And, you know, okay, and I will. If you want to put it on the agenda, and we can, John and I will Great. More than happy. talk about that. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Bob. Uh, last Thursday, I met with the uh, Frontier Regional Building Renovation mm. Committee Subcommittee. Mm. We were talking about... Uh, Still trying to narrow down the project requests. As you see, they had a multiple list of items that they want to have replaced. We're trying to categorize them in different categories, and some of them we feel that we probably wouldn't try to long-term finance them because there's some maintenance items somewhere and some. Mm -hmm. So we're, they we're dividing that up. We're still looking at ways of possibly funding a project and looking for grants, and so it's an ongoing process with the committee. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you, Robert. Has the number come down any? No. <laughs> if anything, it's probably going to go up 10%. Wow, okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, I did not attend any meetings last week in relation to what we do here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, citizens' concerns. I don't see any citizens. I guess we don't have citizens' concerns. Old business, fiscal year um, 2019 budget, consideration of money items, reductions and or change uh, in funding sources. Yes, now I have new copies um, of the, the revised budget, uh, all the corrections made uh, in case you want to use this. Thank you, Lisa, for this. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa right. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you, Lisa. Fine, the fine tooth comb. We all need a good editor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, uh, I did get it out by my target date, but uh, <laughs> and now the uh, errata sheet has been incorporated in the text for the second edition. Um, uh, the none of the bottom line numbers changes. This is all sort of internal. Uh, mentions of numbers that I didn't update when I updated them in the in the main sections. Okay. I, 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 I'm a little bit uh, redundant in what I write. In case somebody picks it up and flips to one section, they'll get um, all the relevant information instead of having to read the entire document. So that's okay. that's the reason I did that. Uh, so yes. Uh, if everybody got everything they wanted, we'd be 92,000 in the hole. Mm. A similar situation happened last year. I don't think it was quite as uh, quite as much, um, but you'll see I've suggested a number of uh, possibilities for reducing that number. Um, none of which, uh, some of which are, I think, um, you know, perfectly perfectly fine. Um, I think we can supplement capital stabilization as we did last year from general stabilization. It's somewhat odd that we have both general stabilization and capital stabilization. A lot of towns only have one mm -hmm. fund. Um, yeah. Again, not a great long-term uh, plan. As, as you can see also, the, the operating budget is not going up as much as it has in the past. Uh, well, the, I'm sorry, the town side of the operating budget right. uh, is only going up $35,000, which is, you know, a, a relatively small percentage. So I think the the operating budget for the town, that whole side of things, is leveling off. It's becoming pretty stable. Um, Again, you know, if there was the two and a half percent raise, that would be thirteen thousand more than the thirty-five that it's going up. Mm -hmm. um, but all in all, uh, you know, that that would be a by itself that would be a very small increase in the operating budget. So the things that that uh, we control directly are pretty well under control. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, there was a period of growth, and now that's leveled off. Um, and as we, you know, are, as, as, with any luck, we'll have some new growth in town, um, uh, either new construction or, or larger things. We will get this Comcast uh, installation, most of it in our 
uh, in next year's right. uh, new growth. Right. So that will be uh, that will be a relief. And aside from that, as everybody knows, um, the the long term structural uh, question of uh, schools going up uh, more than uh, the two and a half percent plus new growth. Mm -hmm. For the last ten years, there's been very little new growth uh, in Conway and in many other hill towns. That's right. So we're stuck with something much closer to a two and a half percent rise, uh, and <coughs> and that uh, that that causes that causes some friction. Personally, I uh, see this as an as an unfortunate uh, result of some state and federal spending priorities. Um, we are not getting what we used to from either source, and uh, I think that advocating for cities and towns, as Governor Baker has done, is a really good way to not only be popular <laughs> as a politician, but to actually take care of a lot of the, the things that, that uh, make the country run, you know, on a, on a very fundamental level, education and transportation being two of the big ones. Sure. We've seen hits in both of those. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, our pilot payments from the state in Conway are going up $1,200 according to the governor's budget. We don't have a final budget. There are other towns around here who have been socked as much as 20 percent, mm -hmm. and they're getting quite a reduction in state pilot payments. We all know that state pilot payments are not 100 percent of what they should be, mm -hmm. um, so that's another uh, you know, another place where decisions have been made that we don't have a lot of control over. So I've outlined a number of options. Are, are they in this new sheet, or they they were they were in a sheet we saw last week? Page one. They're on page one. I, I just looked at. It. Yeah. Um, there. Uh, or two. Page two. Sorry. Why does that start on page three? I don't know. Uh, uh, all right. There was. There does was. It start on page. Does everybody three. start on page three? We can take yes. care of it later. It doesn't. You don't have to do it now. But, but I really like the sheet that you gave us last week that had the different. Right. The different options. This, this is this. Uh, the the only. Yeah. Let me exchange that for this. The only um, difference other than that is. Uh, but whatever. Did you, uh, you? You still didn't get one. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Oh. Yeah, give me the, Take this that one. one back. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Just put these others together today. Um, ah, yes, I know exactly what happened to those. So, ah, um, the only the only thing this set didn't have was the date of the revision on the table of contents page. But yeah, so. Those are sort of the easy pickings that I came up with. They're not the only things that could be changed. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a set of things which, if taken together, would reduce um, the spending by more than is necessary at this point. I don't think any of them cause any real hardship. Uh, the one that I would add back, if you wanted to add something back, would be the OPEB fund, uh, just for good fiscal management. But, you know, I always advocate that. Uh, again, and um, for, the, uh, for the capital stabilization, uh, what I would suggest is instead of reducing it by 25000 just substituting that 25000 to have that come from mm -hmm. general stabilization. So, uh, you know, a, a certain amount of it comes from free cash and then a certain amount of it comes from general stabilization, which is the same thing we did last year. And getting back to where I started, yeah. we have two funds, general and capital stabilization. Uh, general stabilization is over $400,000 now. So it has, it has a lot in it. And yes, we need to replenish our capital stabilization as we go along. I think it's, it's a good idea to give it its full funding. 
and I think it could come from general stabilization. That's the only thing that's not in there that I would suggest mm -hmm. adding to the uh, adding to the mix. But of course, everything is open, uh, more or less. This is just a, a snapshot to say, um, if you do this, things will be okay. Any other combination of things will be okay. We still do not have final school figures. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't have to complete this work for another few weeks anyway. Right. So it's a good place to start and maybe check out to see where people feel about it. Well, I can easily so, imagine, uh, you know, in the information meeting we have or in town meeting, somebody's going to want to say, you know, what are the toys that we can cut out of here, you know, so we're not so close. And, and there aren't many. <clears throat> And and the things that we're getting that are that are capital expenses are slated to come from capital stabilization, right. which is which is the point of the fund. It's not going to not reduce the taxes. Yeah. I, mean, I you know the taxes are one hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars here. That's that's out of you know hundreds of thousands of dollars of spending. Mm -hmm. um, right. It seems like the way to reduce so, taxes is only to not put so much money into stabilization. You know, which is not a long-term no, solution it, either. It, I really so, like so that we do that. Yes. Yeah. Our, our stabilization funds are outstanding yes. compared yes. to most towns, even larger towns. Mm -hmm. so. And I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose any ground. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you, Tom. But at Tom. some point, we've got to think about taking some of the stabilization, stabilization money and start putting in some, in some infrastructure projects. Yeah, and, and we don't have a lot. Further down the road, we're getting well, more expensive they get. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would welcome discussion uh, about that, you know, just to see whether or not people think these are reasonable suggestions first, because I can always go back and, you know, try to find out, try to find other things. Speaking well. of infrastructure, the time to do is the governor is going to release a whole millions of dollars for infrastructure money throughout Western Massachusetts. Did we apply for any of that? Infrastructure money? Yeah. Is that maybe Mass Works? Going to, going to give 30 million to Springfield for one project. Uh, a couple of other towns are going to get a few million. Sounds those, like those, Mass, those, mass those Works projects. Those are grants. Are those yeah, are those Mass are, Works grants. Those are Mass Works grants. The, the, yeah. the thing we applied for. They well, call it the infrastructure. Yeah. For infrastructure yeah. work, they yeah. said. And, and small towns have... Uh, mostly, that was just for buildings, though, only. Because yeah. There wasn't no other stuff. It was just for buildings. But yeah. Channel news tonight. We have um, two possible claims on Mass Works grants. One of them is uh, there are five different grant programs were folded into that. Mm -hmm. One of them was the STRAP grant, which yeah. was uh, yeah. small towns, rural assistance, yeah. assistance grant. program. Mm -hmm. And that um, there is a lot of that that goes into road projects, especially. And I know uh, Ron has his eye on maybe applying for a, a major paving project with, uh, with for a strap grant. Um, the the only other project that we have lined up now that would be suitable for that would be um, the wastewater treatment. So those are competing plans mm -hmm. at this point, and that's something else that the select board should probably think about at some point is the timing of those things. Now that we have a capital uh, improvements planning committee, um, really they're the ones who should think about uh, priorities and timing, mm -hmm. and then that'll help us decide which to apply for first. Um, again, design is one phase, and then there's um, the actual project grant. So it can be it can be split into two, and it can be a, a, a two year project. You know, remember the the ball field was a was yep. a long project, uh, and it did involve design first, and then and then construction. So that's um, and and I have a list of other you know possible capital projects, including renovating the town hall. Mm -hmm. in, including senior housing, things like that. I, I yeah. leave them in there because they have been mm -hmm. concerns of the it's town, and I want to get as broad a picture as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but that's um, that's 
Yeah, he he put some additional money into into housing too as well. Yeah, there's a big push for affordable housing. Yes. Uh, there's a there's a huge uh, gap between uh, the stock that's available and the stock that is forecasted to be needed. Well, the stock that's needed right now, actually. And of course, um, if uh, Amazon comes, that'll just drive prices up through the roof. So, um, there, there, that's that's for affordable housing projects. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Annual town meeting warrant. Review and discussion of draft recommendations oh. on articles. And I have uh, new uh, drafts for that. Um, if you felt like make, starting to go through and make recommendations, that would be good. Um, I put in a little um, placeholder for a uh, petition that I expect to receive that's a, just a resolution saying that the town of Conway would should strive to get 100% renewable energy for its needs. And um, Is that a citizen's petition? It, yes. It would be a citizen's yes. petition, right. And they know they have to be in and certified by next Monday. Okay. Uh, so that and that, I, I put it at the at the very end, you know, I just sort of add that sort of thing onto the end. Kind of is that is that coming from the energy committee? No. No. Among the people that I see talking about it, some people on the energy committee are in the discussion and will be signing it. I see, as uh, as residents, right? Right, as part of it. Okay. Again, I welcome your eagle eyes in case anything is, um, if you notice any errors or inconsistencies. Or, okay. uh, I Really, I don't think anything else has changed. I underlined some, <laughs> some things that needed underlining. Uh, all right, we'll go over them one at a time. And, and, and I haven't, um, I have not yet taken out the one uh, after the article saying we need, um, you know, we'll use the, we'll have the highway department take over the landscaping job. And we heard, well, it would take labor and equipment. So I, I added that, but um, right now we don't have the money for it. Right, right. So even if we did all of those uh, savings that I have, that's only, what, 40 something thousand dollars. The labor's 15 and, and there's more equipment. Yeah. They could probably get by with less equipment for a season. Um, but that, you know, again, it's cutting it awfully close if we wanted to do that. So the, the motion for that would have to be for something considerably less than what is on the warrant right. at this point. We, we wouldn't be able to spend what's on the warrant. Right. It, it's, it's not in the budget at all, because mm -hmm. it, it came up so late. I feel that they, this is my own personal feelings. I feel that the town highway crew should start, try this first year, taking over all the warrant, with the more that he's got, maybe take a few hundred dollars, go buy a push mower, or whatever else he needs for small items, and try it for a year, and see if he gets a better handle on labor requirements or other equipment comps. Well, I think his argument was that he would actually need a larger mower than the one that he got. I understand. Which is sort of a me medium. But if that mower that he's got, he claims, can mow the back field behind the salt shed, that'll be big enough to mow the lawns. I haven't seen it, but he claims he can mow the back field behind the salt shed. That takes a pretty good mower to do that. That's no little tinker, tinker toy thing. No, and, it, and it's also a question of, you know, how much so. a piece of equipment gets used. I mean, you, you could do that also with a push mower, but it really wouldn't make much sense. So, uh, I, I, uh, I'm saying what I'm, what I'm saying here is if, yeah. if the townspeople vote to want him to do that, he had to phase into it slowly, not phase into it. Take it over, it's the first year, like I'm saying. 
and then that, take a better look at it the following year, and, and, and if he ne feels he needs more equipment, something like that, then bring that, introduce that to the board and the town meeting votes for the following year, and the townspeople would probably seem more favorable to fund something like that than to fund this whole big chunk the first year. Yeah, uh, well... Um, That's my feelings. And, and uh, you know I mean? the, the other thing is, is that, you know, th this won't be available till July anyway, and we've got a good two months, mm -hmm. you know, right, going. Sure. And, and I think it makes sense to, um, you know, I, I still haven't completed with Ron the, uh, the work on the, the going out to, uh, to bid. I know he's, <coughs> he was <coughs> considering taking the cemeteries out of that anyway. So, you know, it'll be less than it was, so. But even if he had to start the more, say you weren't going to put anything off the bid this year. Yeah. He still could find time for one guy to bust away and start doing some of the more in May and June. Well, then that guy would That's, not be available for doing the other I things. Understand the I understand that. I do understand that, yes. And uh, I don't think they're um, slacking. But I thought that, that a number of the mowing projects are already being funded out of separate accounts. Yes, they are. So, so we don't, you know, they should stay yeah. like that. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, those, know, the the, the, op those the operating budget. fund Ron to do it. The operating budget's only spending about three thousand dollars a year uh -huh. for the fifteen thousand dollar contract. Uh -huh. Well, well, that's not quite true because the uh, the grammar school has its mowing within its own budget. Right, and they kicked that back to the town, right? Oh, but oh, well, doing more. It it's part of the it's part of their. They're operating. But that would budget. come back into, they would still kick that funds in, no matter who's doing it, the funds would kick over to, if it's a the department or doesn't, they would kick well, over to them. Well, they, they, they just wouldn't wouldn't be that expense. It wouldn't be that, that funds would come back to anything. It just, there, there wouldn't be funds for that. So, yeah, the, the effect would be that. When they got it in their budget? That, yeah, right. So they, So they would then not have it. For the following year, and again, it's in this budget as well. So, do they so normally pay a portion think, of the fifteen thousand? Yes, uh, in the yes. contract, they, they pay for all their their own yeah. loan. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, if if that were to happen, um, I think it would just take a longer time rather than starting this year to do it. I mean, we can see what we can do if if uh, the board wants to go there. Um, but I think this it, trying to do it right now is uh, premature because we have to start cutting in April, and. Um, so what are you saying? Uh, You've gone put, put out like a two or three month bid. If you um, that, just to get you to the new fiscal year. Uh, it it it's tough. It, if. If it's the sentiment of the town to do this, I don't think it should be done for fiscal year 19. I think the select board yeah, would then take that into account for planning for future fiscal years. Because we'd have to go out to that to, with that contract within the next month or so. And yeah, yeah well, that. we should be going out with it in the next few weeks. Yeah, we've got to right. the contract right. before we know whether they're going to vote for it or not. Right. So we have to protect our own resources. Yeah, exactly. So we got to pull a full contract out. That's right, yeah. We, 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 you know, nobody's nobody's going to do it for us for a couple of months. They're going to want the contract. Oh, no guarantee season. to come May they vote for it. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. but if the, if, so, if so they did do, vote for it, it would be for the next, next year. year, not mm -hmm. not for this year. You know, and certainly when when um, you know, anytime you saw our present vendor doing it, he'd be out there with a couple of guys with a couple of machines doing it. So you know, the idea that we can do it with one one guy on one machine. So last um, year, he pretty much did it alone, I think. The, well, at least the ball feed. I only saw the owner to come himself out there all the time. Um, yes, he also uh, lost staff over the year, so he had to do it a lot of it by himself. I, and of course, he's not available to do it this year. So. I, I know when he was doing my property, he'd always have two guys there with two machines, uh, and he had what at least three crews, didn't he? I had heard Dale oh, Danny, he had sold the company. He did, yeah, he did. Um, yeah. And and somebody from Ashfield purchased it and will be taking over. Uh, 
but I, you know, the the idea that we can we can do that work with one mower, um, I, I you know, as, as uh, Ron put in there, it'll, it'll cost with labor and equipment four times as much as we went out to bid for. So, you know, but we'll keep it in, you know. But we can't do it for this year. We got to be able to do it for for fiscal. 2020. But we'll be buying the equipment in the next fiscal year. I mean, we need it needs to pass in town meeting if we want to right. do it next right. year. Because we got to get ready for it. Right? We, right. We'll be buying the equipment to be ready to do it in next spring. Spring of we, of we, we 2019. Could, we could do some now, um, and again because most of most of the following year will be the following fiscal year. You know, the next town meeting could could supplement that, um, and and uh, if if we if we wanted to go that way, uh, the thing is when we do the contract, it'll be you know, if if it's standard, it'll be a year with two years of option mm -hmm. for the town to do. That's how we did this one this right. year, and then um, options for two more years. Right. Yeah. So, and the contract will be less because Rod is saying that he thinks he can do the cemeteries. Right. Regardless, I mean. Yeah. No matter how this works out. Yes. All so right. Let's let's uh, let's go over each each Warren article and uh, wait. see what our recommendations are. Article three. Any questions on Article three? It'll be done. It has to be done. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So is that a, is that a three a three zero recommendation? I vote yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Article four. Um, I mean, one hundred twenty-five thousand for capital stabilization. That's yeah. And again, recommendation. The, the motion will split that into a hundred thousand from free cash and twenty-five from general stabilization. Right. Okay. Is Do we want to wait till we meet the, with the finance committee on that in case they got some other ideas? Um, I thought they were pretty much in favor of that uh, yeah. last last meeting. Yeah, yeah. Um, are, are we? Uh, is that a three zero for yeah. us? Okay. All right, Article Five, <coughs> hundred thousand to garage stabilization. Uh, if that's the, if that that's, that's that's what I'm proposing to cut to fifty thousand. Yep. You want to cut that to fifty? That'll still bring it up over nine hundred thousand, which is a hundred thousand more than we started with last time. Okay, that's good. So fifty thousand. We all in agreement on that? Yeah. Okay, three zero. Uh, Article six, uh, grammar school stabilization. You want to cut that in half, Tom? Um, to twenty-five. We can cut it in half. We can supplement it with general stabilization. Again, the, the things that I had slated for general stabilization were the, the ambulance unit um, and this 25 from uh, for capital stabilization. What do we have in the grammar school stabilization right now? Quite a bit. <laughs> we do. Um, it's about what? Oh, it's, it's, it's in the budget. Is it in the budget? Uh, should be page 8, maybe? Yeah, it is page 8. You're right. Two hundred forty-two thousand. Okay. Yeah, two hundred forty-two thousand. Um, Can we pass we over any, for a year? We have anything coming up? Yes. On that, uh, we will be taking out at least thirty thousand for, for the, the uh, boiler, for the uh, well pump, the well and pump. the water tank liner. Right. Okay. So if we're putting in twenty-five, we're taking out thirty. We'll be just just basically the same place. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll put in 25? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that 3-0? Yep. And uh, as, as part of this, I think some of our messaging should be that the kind of way grammar school should have its own capital plan, its own capital improvements plan. Um, either that or fold their needs into the town's process. Um, I'm not sure which way you guys would want to go with that, but I think um, it, 
And you know, this well pump thing was not necessarily anticipated, but there are things that will be anticipated. Mm -hmm. and, and as long as we have a separate stabilization account, some I think somebody ought to be planning for that. Maybe a subgroup of the of the school committee. Well, that's what we're true. Our, our uh, renovation building committee had a long discussion on that, mm -hmm. trying to get the Frontier Regional School District, Frontier Regional School, to start getting their own capital stabilization account that they don't have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they don't run into this down the road another 20, 30 years again. So you're functioning as the capital improvements planning committee for the frontier well, just for school. Well, for this for this particular mm -hmm. bit, but it's that that will no doubt turn into uh, uh, the group that oversees the mm -hmm. the stabilization mm -hmm. um, and and the capital spending proposals. Maybe maybe, maybe it'll require borrowing, like a bridge requires borrowing. You know, no. if there's a major deal. Yeah. But um, I hope that this can be the beginning of, of that discussion for the grammar school as so, well. So the grammar school doesn't have a capital improvements planning committee? Uh, not that I know of. Certainly this well pump and, and uh, water tank liner uh, just came directly from the custodian. Right, um, came from Bruce. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, they should think about that. So, so as we're making these changes to our warrant, are we that? Are we accepting Tom? Tom's suggestions. I mean, well, the, we're we're going the, over each one of them. Working at them all the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, be, because if, when we meet with the finance committee next week, we should make these changes. Well, I, oh, Tom, I, will, Tom I will. I will let them know. Them. Yeah. So, Tom will make done them. Okay. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Police cruiser, Article Seven. I three zero. Yeah. Now, are, are we going to? Um, are we going to give fire the old cruiser? Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can retire the 99 of them driving. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm sorry. Article eight should have a five to zero capital improvements planning committee recommendation as well. Five to zero on that. Okay. All right. And that's for the excavator. Any any uh, three zero on that? Yeah. We all set. I. Ron keeps telling us it's a savings by doing this. But he hasn't showed us a dollar amount savings yet. I'd like to see that before I put my handle on that. All right. So we'll we'll uh, when when do you need final recommendations on this? Um, you keep saying the savings, you say, well, what is? I mean, not. He not must for, have some kind not of. Not for idea. a few weeks. Well, um, he keeps saying that. Earlier the better is good. All right. I, let, I let's ask let's ask Ron to give us an analysis on that. Okay. And we'll just we'll skip that one for now. So this is I mean this is the first time that we are you know beginning to adopt his new strategy. Right. right. So, so he's so talked about eight? I'm sorry. Article eight. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So he's talked about the strategy, mm -hmm. um, and he can talk about how much he's going to get for trade in and why he thinks this right. is a good idea. And how much cost savings is it? Is yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, before yeah. we can vote on it, I think. Okay, all right, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait on Article 8. Um, Article 9, capital expenses for the grammar school. That's for the what Tom just talked about, yeah. the well, yeah. well pump and it the relining is, of the, the water tank. It is conceivable that that could rise by one or two thousand um, dollars. Well, it's got to be done. Do, do yeah. we, do we want to? coming out of the, the stabilization. Grammar yes. school stabilization. So it it doesn't make any difference to the to the uh, <coughs> levy limit. Right. So okay. So or, or, our, or, or do you want you want to raise that a couple thousand dollars? Thirty two. We want to make it thirty two? Let's do that for now. Okay. Yeah. And and I'll check that out with Bruce again. We've been going back and forth. We're still we're still finessing the 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 amount. All right. So that's a three zero for us. Yeah. Okay. And I'll come back to you if there's any change. All right. Okay, next one. Uh, operating expenses for the ambulance department. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's standard. standard. And that's coming from uh, ambulance stabilization. Right. Okay, next one is the uh, 20000 for highway department for hydraulic boom lift. We have... Uh, on that? What no, are we, what are we I'm still not voting for it. We okay, so we're gonna we're gonna hold off one? on that one too. We can hold. 
No, I mean, it sounds like the Warriors will go two to one. I mean, that, well, that, yeah, that, that's, that's, not, think a, there's anything that's not the same issue. That, that's this is just a buying a new piece of equipment. Or okay. unless, unless you're asking them to give you a cost estimate of what it would cost to rent the amount of work they you figured you're going to need for it, what it would cost to rent a rig, you could ask them that. Uh, yes, um, that has been asked, and he has answered that that renting carries with it other uh, opportunity costs. Uh, you lose the time. You, you have to rent it for a particular time if the weather's not good. Um, it's, um, he felt that it would be worth having the piece of equipment available for when it could be used and needed to be used, sometimes immediately. All right, so two to one on that? Two to one. I, I think that's what it's going to be. Yep. Okay. All right, Article 12. Uh, all right, this is three, three zero, right? Yeah. I think this is an important piece of yes, equipment, the Lucas uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Comes out to, if you look at it over a 10 year life, comes out to $3 a year in taxes per household, right? But I thought this wasn't coming out of taxes at all. Uh, this is coming out of general stabilization. Uh, if you... Um, Take that recommendation, yes. Yeah, well, that that's. I'm, oh. I'm assuming we're ta we're looking at your recommendations, so right? That affects it, the tax it, rate at all. Um, that's right. Yeah. On that that yeah. Uh, originally, we were uh, going according to, to all yeah. the calculations in here. It is um, it was slated to come. Uh, it was in raise and appropriate originally. From raise yes, and appropriate, it was. yes. Yeah. But but I but I but it feels to me that what we're doing is we're accepting your recommendations, yeah. which I think are the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. So that's three zero. Okay. Next one is uh, uh, twelve thousand for replacing the uh, two thousand twelve Kubota tractor and snowblower. That's another skip one until he brings it in. Okay. So that's another one. We're uh, going to skip one more one more point on that. Um, these. These um, amounts that he has here are what he thinks he can, that, that that's the, the not to exceed amount, of course. He doesn't know exactly how much it's going to cost um, because you don't know that until you actually try to make the trade. Right, um, exactly. So yeah. I just wanted to make that point. Okay. All right, so we're, we're holding off on 13. All right, 14, create an account for funding town portion of grants that require some town funds yep. to raise an appropriate. Um, um, this yeah. one I suggested uh, axing. It's, it's, it's not necessary, uh, and um, it would save $10,000 from mm -hmm. the... Uh, okay. All right, so it's not something we absolutely need right now. Right. So okay. We'll take it out? So we'll take it out. We'll take fourteen out. Okay. Fifteen uh, is OPEB. Uh, you're saying no immediate need for that as well. I took it out. It would be a good thing to have if we had the money to do it. Um, now, now, when they look when they look at our borrowing, this is one of the things they look at is that we're putting money into OPEB. Yes. Okay. So, so it helps. It helps us in that way. It's only ten thousand dollars. I think we should keep it in. Okay. Okay. Where are you going to fund it from? Um, we we're 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 dealing with forty four nine oh seven now, so that would reduce it to that's an open to being thirty four thirty four nine oh seven in the black. This is if we did all of this, we'd save one hundred and thirty seven. And Tom started by saying we're ninety, whatever it was, over, and so so if we accepted all of these, we would be forty four. In the to black. the good, in the black. So now we'd only be 34. Only 34. Yeah. We, that's, that's enough room for right okay. now. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of towns are working with a lot less. Yeah. 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 Okay. Room than that. So three and so now. Three zero. Um, okay. Ag again, with the caveat that uh, we don't know what the, um, what the school's final numbers are going to be. All, right. all this said, if we have this in here, we can always make the motion for less money if we need to. That's one of the reasons why there's all this... Um, Verbiage about you know we're not telling you where the money's mm -hmm. coming from because we might not know until the last minute right until the last minute right yeah. all right next one is sixty five hundred dollars for 
Uh, further labor and supply costs of conversion of assessors software. All right, that's something that's been ongoing, something we've yeah. been doing for a couple of years. Right. This is the second of two years, and this yeah. is the final amount that will be right. asked. So for that's this. three zero? Yeah. Right. Uh, next one is 5000 for um, recertification of property values. That's something we do every three years. So that's going to be 3 0. They've got to recertify yeah. property we, values. We do it now every five years. Oh, it just it went up to five years. Yeah. When well, did when did that happen? Uh, with the Municipal Modernization Act, I think it did. Yeah. Every five years. Yeah. Now wow. now we we do an interim in between so that there's mm -hmm. not a huge jump at every five years. Right. Okay. So it's a kind of an estimate, um, but we we get it certified every five years. Okay. All right. Because that's a that's a, a long time in between. It is, which is why they do the the estimated difference. Yeah. Okay. Next one is uh, we'll approve a new part time position of town clerk, of, of no not town clerk clerk, to the conservation commission planning board and zoning board of appeals. Uh, Fifty five hundred eighteen dollars for the year. Is that's, that three zero? Yeah. Is that three zero? Now these were all separate at one point, and they've all been combined together. Yes, Is that was right. Yeah. Where would you like? You guys upstairs? Ah. Oh, I or are think you they're at the town over at the town hall. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Next one is uh, this is this is something we do every yeah. year for the local uh, library operations and expenses. Yeah. All right. Three zero. Um, okay, twenty one thousand for the Christmas tree fund. Okay, three zero. And that's raised, I think, slightly from the past. Oh, yes. it, it okay. is. This is this is a major. Um, they need new lights. Uh, yeah. Contribution there. There they need. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one five hundred for the flag fund. Three zero. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're down to the small money, which makes these easier. <laughs> Well, and we don't have final figures for the Community Preservation Fund yet. We'll, skip over that. Okay. we'll get those in another yeah. week or two. All right. Next one is uh, become a member of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District for a th minimum three-year period. Um, that doesn't involve any, any money at this point, correct? Uh, well, what, uh, what we've gotten is a community compact grant, a regionalization grant, mm -hmm. And that's good for two years. Okay. Two of the three years. So there's no money for two years, but there may be money on the third year, correct? Yes. Okay. So if you buy applying for the grant for the first two years, does that automatically lock you in for the money amount for the third year? It would if we approved being a member for three years. So how can we approve being a member for three years? We don't know what the dollar amount at the end of the three years. Can we say two years? Alan, Isn't that illegal? Alan is giving, um, no, it, some might consider you it imprudent. You, you cannot <laughs> bind the town for a three-year contract. It's going to cost you money without knowing how much it's going to cost you. Uh, we would, we would, uh, yes, Alan is uh, right? in touch with uh, Carolyn Ness about that. Uh, essentially, yeah. yeah. yeah but, and and yeah. you were saying that the town's out in... The Berkshires, some of those towns dropped out in the third year when they d ran out of grant money? No, they've dropped out over time. I don't know that they ever had any grant money. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's hold this till we get that down. Okay. That's what I think we should do. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip that one. Uh, when's Carolyn going to give us figures on that, Tom? Do you know? Uh, Alan is, uh, was going to be talking with her. He might actually have some okay. information we'll now. Okay. Weekend. All right. But uh, I will follow up with him. Okay. All right. Next one created a, an account for funding the town portion of grants. Didn't we just is that, is that oh yeah yeah that, sorry is that, that a, is that a double yeah that's a double get rid of that sorry get rid of this one too so that I just is, wanted twenty thousand that's all <laughs> yeah that is the same as fourteen right. yeah yeah okay so that's out. All right, 25, uh, impose lo local 3%. taxes upon or transfer of marijuana or marijuana products. 
All right, that's that's standard stuff. That's for the that, three percent. This is the three percent. In case yeah. somebody comes in, that's, for that's the standard stuff. Right? If, yeah. yeah, if if that if that happens, then it's we'll go. That's three zero, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Twenty six is uh, to amend its general bylaws, uh, former conduct county government annual meeting. Or uh, this, this came up at a uh, at this last special town meeting, and the general bylaws say, and I think it is pretty clearly referring to the annual town meeting, but it doesn't say so. So articles for the warrant will be received by the select board not less than sixty days before the date set for the meeting. Sometimes we have special town meetings that we don't even know 60 days before we have it that we're going to call a special town meeting. Okay. So okay. this is really just meant clarification. To have, just for you know, this warrant close, you know, March 12th, which is the, the next Monday. Mm -hmm. That's 60 days. Mm -hmm. So it can't be less than 60 days before the annual meeting. Okay. Right. So we're just clarifying. Yeah. Okay. Three zero. Good. Yep. Yeah. All right, 27, uh, see if the town will amend bylaws under the town officers and boards and committees to include new article, new section 12 as follows. Let's do all her subsection of articles. Put a number of and stuff. Make it easier to identify, right? Yeah, this, none of our, um, none of our sections are numbered. Um, some of the things under those sections aren't numbered or lettered. Uh, this will allow uh, the town clerk and I would intend, or an agent designated by the town clerk after a consultation with the town administrator um, shall be authorized to make non-substantive editorial revisions to the numbering or lettering to ensure consistent and appropriate sequencing, organization, and numbering or lettering of the bylaws. So we would now have Section, you know, Article One, Form and Conduct of Town Meeting. Article Two, right. you know, okay. you know th th that that sort of thing. So we're, we're, and and we just figured that out. We're cl we're cleaning up our bylaws right. to make them more organized. Yes. So, so this is an example of the work that might be done by the assistant that we just put some money towards. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that assistant is meant for. Uh, mostly the permitting bodies. Oh, oh but that, that that's what it was meant conservation. to be. Uh, no, that oh, was so oh, uh, oh, misspeaking. Mis that was that was yeah. that was my fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that it it is con it, yeah, it is conceivable that that person the way it's written it's written broadly enough so that if the position proved useful, <clears throat> that person could um, work for other committees or officers of the town. Has that uh, advanced any filling of those position? No. But that's not what it's for. This is... I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Right. But, but that saying. one is not advanced, no. Is it, are they going to try to fill it this year? Yeah, you know, I have to ask Jenny. I, uh, I don't know. Can we as the board have you ask her? <laughs> well, the money's been appropriate. The last I knew, she was on the fence. Oh my God! She's the one that proposed it. Yes. Yep. Yes. I. I yes. Yeah. Let, let's let's see if Jenny will will move a little faster on that. Just suggest that to her. Okay. Hi. Especially to do this work. Yeah. <laughs> Not this right. This position Not this right. is different mm. from her right. position. But this one isn't though. But this number. Is Twenty-seven. We're talking about. Yeah, right, number right. twenty-seven could be yeah. done by the could be done by some yeah, could be done by, done by somebody else. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, twenty-eight. Removing the requirement to mail the town report. So, did we have a vote on twenty-seven? Was it? Yeah, it's three. We said three zero. Yeah, okay. it's, cla I, I, it's, it's clarification. Yeah, it's good. Organizational yeah. stuff, administrative stuff. Uh, removing the requirement to to mail the town report to each head of household. Did we vote on this a couple of years ago? I think it failed. Yeah, it did. Um, I would like to bring it back just okay. because now, as of a year from now, everybody will everybody have but a few six people, people yeah, five, we'll have internet four connection. people, and yeah. will have having have internet. internet. Well, they'll have internet, and and we can always have copies of it here in the town hall. Yeah, for people to pick up. If and they we'll want. probably save three thousand. Should that be yeah. in the wording of it? Pet two. If this passes, there would be a, uh, still a, a copies available at the town office. 
That would be good to put in there. I think it's good to put in. It may help pass the thing easier. You know, I don't think okay. we have to put in the right, issue yeah. about email. Just, but. just say copies will be available at the town hall somewhere in there, Tom, okay? And that's that's three zero. Is everybody in accordance with that? Okay. Uh, Twenty nine to see if the town will amend the protective bylaws by adding the proposed Article Twelve as follows. This is large scale commercial facilities. This is something that uh, Joe brought up last year, correct? Tom, did did it not pass? Uh, I think this, it was tabled, wasn't this, it? This is the result of the pipeline discussion, right? And. That was generalized at the time because people thought, well, you know, sure, there's a pipeline now, but some of the issues that are coming up around large-scale construction would be the same as, you know, if somebody were putting in, you know, some other huge. <coughs> right. So this is meant to address all the issues that ever might arise in case somebody came in and wanted to put a huge thing in there. And the, and the planning department consulted with FERCOT on this, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. in a major way. We don't vote on yeah. this anyway. Uh, do we? Yeah. Do we at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta yeah. find How the other? end Yeah, keep, keep going. Keep the page, page seven, page 17. 17. Page yeah. 17. Yeah. Is page 17. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> They're going to so. eat this from the live and tell me. Uh, that, uh, this way it gets stable, though. Who, people will say I don't want to read it. Nope. Wow. I think yeah. that one's going to get beat bad. All right, we've gone through all so the processes long. with this, and we've had Jack go over it and the whole thing. Um, I don't know that Jack has gone over it. But Furkov no. recommended it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was developed right. entirely. What, what do we yeah. think? Do we think 3 I would vote for it, yeah. Okay. All right, Bob, are you in, in on that? No, I'm not. No, okay, so 2 I don't to 1? I think the townspeople are going to pass it, to be honest with you. Well, well okay, that could be. But, 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 do you, do you agree with the concept of the article? Yeah, I guess so. Three and three. So three up? Okay. Okay, uh, 30. That's the safe community. Safe one community. Back again. Yeah, we don't have to do nothing on that, right? No, we no, have to yeah, do we? recommend. Do we, have, do we have any recommendations on that? So I'll vote for it. Okay. Well, I'm against it. I'm three. against it. Okay. All right, so one to one two. two. Okay. Where are we here? Page 30. Okay, and 31. Introduced by citizen petition. Okay, this is the highway thing. Um, so I would vote against this one. I will vote against this one as well. Uh, Bob, see. what do you wait, think? Wait, 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 let me finish this up. Two, okay. two to one, that was it. One to two. No, one to two. Oh, one okay. in favor, two opposed. Okay. This other one's on by what? The Next mowing. one is Ronnie, Ron doing the mowing. I'm the in favor of yes. So that's, that's one to one two, two as well. Uh, two to one. One no, to no. two. Oh, no, I'm against it. Oh, and oh against, against it, against yes. it, that's right. So it's two to one. Sorry. So it's one to two. Yeah. yeah. You're, four, you're four, 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 four. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, we're against. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it, get it here sooner or later. Okay. Thir 32. So, um, so how do you feel about the next one, though, Bob, the money? I disagree with it. How does so that? this is zero to three. I zero to three. Okay. Uh, okay, last one to see if the tenants are 100% renewable. Energy. We haven't seen this yet. So we'll, we haven't we'll, seen this yet. Right, right. I think, that, okay. I think this should be in next Monday. I don't know so, for sure. So just, the, just to clarify, the zero to three means if the one preceding that passes and the one you're not recommending then fails. They, they both fail. No. no well, the, the if, you're not gonna, given, if you're not going to fund it. Well, I think you would find people saying that they ought to find a way to do it. <sighs> okay, why? Okay, we have it separated because the petition didn't have anything to do with money, and, right. and the yeah, second that, one yeah. is Ron has said, hey, this is what it's going to cost. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, so it's safe separate. All right. Um, I think, one. I think people would argue that the, the town said the highway department ought to do it, and it ought to do it. With what the funds with, are available with, to them. That, with funds available, right. yeah. So that's why we voted. We just put the three off. We weren't in favor of it. All three of us. Oh, out of three. Out of three, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I mean, you're so, saying if it passes, we should be. How do we feel about putting the money there? And right, if if thirty one passes, yeah, and thirty two fails, then the highway department will have will be directed. Yeah, um, the the town will have voiced its. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, so. What do you mean? The way well, we voted? A well, wait a second. Wait a second. It says right here in the article: this will save the town monies that can be used in other departments and expenditures that need to focus. On. Well, if we're saying down here it's not going to save the town money, then that would be a reason for the select board not to enforce not not to enforce the uh, policy that was authorized in in thirty one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Um, if you say so. Take a so. quick two-minute break. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So how much snow are we going to get on now? Sixty-eight. On, they're saying. They're saying, is that what yeah. they're saying now? Here, starting when? Uh, starting Wednesday night, Wednesday, right? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday, yeah Wednesday morning. morning. Wednesday. Yes, I have been thinking about the office. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I'll be watching the forecast. Closely. It doesn't look like they said it really wasn't going to get going hard till late Wednesday afternoon. Most of the snow is going to be Wednesday, late Wednesday afternoon through the evening. Hours. So the evening commute might be problematic. Well, I'll, you know what you could do? I'll watch. I'll watch. I'm Does watching. Does that look like it's problematic? Close the office and go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll but it watch. means if I want to leave home, i got to do it early Wednesday morning. Where are you leaving? I have work in construct. Cape? Yeah. <laughs> well, the Cape's only going to get rain. No, I think so, rain, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not worried about getting there. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you get better miles or worse miles in snow with that thing? Uh, the, the question is temperature. <coughs> I'm finding above about 50, it runs well. But right. below about well, 50, the batteries right? get grumpy. You know, they, they just, do? Yeah. Well, yeah, they're okay. just chemical processes and they don't uh, well, store electricity as well. well the and, generators are, uh, the, what do you try them? Not the generators, the power of the wheels. Yeah. You need a wood They're more loggy, it's warm. cold. The, so they take more electricity to, to turn them. Well, I suppose it's harder for them when they make whenever you do things like you want, you take your foot off the gas and it and it, the, the the engine turns into a generator and it pumps electricity back into the battery, We're, but it doesn't do that as efficiently either. Just, just so. let me make one more comment before we go back on the yeah. record. Is it the, the the guinea pigs go a little slower in the cold? <laughs> yeah, that, they get grumpy. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. our mice. All right. we're, we're, oh, mice. Okay, mice. Yeah, it's, it's the wood Rats. stove that I have a hard time keeping going. Yeah, mouse. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Next, uh, back on the record here. Um, okay. So thirty-three, uh, we didn't see yet. So. Right. We yeah, see yeah, now, is this a proposal for our town accounts to be one hundred percent? Or is this for the whole town? No, no, I, municipal. It's municipal. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's a resolution. It's just a. It's just a. It it's a field. It's a field. It's a good legislation. Day. It's a field yeah. day. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll wait to see uh, um, the whole resolution before we do anything on that. Mm -hmm. We, I think we all agree with that concept. It, yeah. But you it, know, it's following very similar to what the state is attempting yeah. to do. The state has. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The state actually has much firmer commitments. It has to achieve 100% renewable by 2050. This is not saying any date or anything like that. Right. It's just right. saying the town, you know, is going to strive towards moving towards 100% renewable mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, since since I saw that video you recommended, yeah, I'm almost thinking about electric vehicle. I'm hey, almost, uh, uh, almost. Mm -hmm. I'm like getting. If really you ever close. want to drive one, John, I, I have an example that you can drive, uh, and you will okay. never want to go back. I can tell you that. Well, if I had a Tesla, I probably wouldn't. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jack Lockhead could let you yeah. try his. He would uh -huh. love it. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for this part of the agenda. Correct. Yes, Great. it is. All right. Next item is to sign the letter of engagement with Roselli. Um, okay, this is something we voted on last week, correct? Right. right. It's just a uh, sign this contract. You yeah. Kind of had the uh, the concept. Right. Okay. And this is just for the the additional. Um, it, it's for one year with with, with two year options. Right. Okay. Confirm on this. And it, and it was the low quote. Right. Yep. Yep. 
I thought this was continuing with the same guy that yes, it is. did exactly. it in the past. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll make a motion that we sign the contract with Roselli. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item is the Germain Scholarship Residency Requirement. Tom, what do we have on that? We have gotten a request uh, from someone who lives in town part-time. Um, uh, her mother is in Charlemont and her father lives in Conway. Oh, can I, can I change that for you before you... Yeah, there, there they was, actually don't live in Conway, the father. Tom, there was a there was a development while you were at oh. the office this afternoon. The father, the sorry, lives right on the Conway town line. The house is in Asheville. He owns land in Conway too. He owns land in Conway. In Conway and Asheville, both the house sets yeah. in Asheville. Okay. And and the daughter spares, in spends time with him there, and she also spends time with the mother and child. And she attends the Mohawk Regional High School. Yes. And okay. She's not choiced, and she. Tends and she just asked if she could, wanted if she could apply for the equipment. Well, uh, well is she is she still in high school? Yes, she's senior. So, so, so where is she? I'm going not. To, she going to college or where? I don't know. We don't know. Well, well, but is your dad a voter res registered to vote in Conway? No, I don't believe. No, so. they're they're, yeah. they're Ashfield residents. No one lives in Conway. No Neither one lives parent. in Conway, and she doesn't attend Frontier. Or so, with that new bit of information, I I can't see considering that. Right. Um, any any other comments? Well, what, yeah. is anything spelled out in the language of this Jermaine discussion? Yeah. Well, what it spells out in the trust document is that it's intended for residents of Conway. Then, then, then okay. okay. But I mean, to me, if her dad was a voted, was a registered voter in Conway and she spent time going between her the two of them. Her father is on the fire department. Um, oh. And so. she's on our well, fire department. But. Yeah. And Deb Craven is on the Ashfield Fire right. Department. Right, that, so. That, that crosses. But they're that not crosses actual Cambridge. residents. Yeah. Yeah, and that is the language in yeah. the, yeah. So, in the trust. So box. the language is residency. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that, that settles it. it up. All right. So, That's out so of we don't. I don't even think we have to vote on that. To tell you nope. the truth. Okay. All right. Next item is um, loose, not anticipated. We have items not anticipated. We have loose canines. Uh, an update so far. Um, we got. Uh, not only a, a written complaint, but another verbal complaint, and some photographs of the uh, dogs, which we have covered before, um, being out. And uh, I, in combination with Joe, have uh, uh, brought Ken in, and I suggested to Ken that this might be a good time to try out one of those non-criminal disposition tickets. Accompanied I, by a strong letter? <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, he was required the last time he was here to put up a fence. He spent, uh, there was a season that he had to do that and he did not do it. He says he does intend to do it this season. Um, but uh, he, the dogs are out and uh, I have not heard back from Ken uh, what he actually did, but um, he, uh, so, I thought I would just let you know that right now. Okay. Um, Let, let's wait and, for and we'll we'll see. I think what happens, and maybe I'll be back next week. Okay. You no, know, the fact is the dogs have been chasing the hurry vehicles up and down the street, doing it on the roads. Mm -hmm. I have heard that as well. Yeah, I got a phone call and asked that they call Tom so that he would have a record and, yeah. and he could yeah. and yeah. and and the of the dogs. Um, they're not keeping up with uh, their bragging, huh? Uh, the bragging. But these multiple dogs attacking a dog that was tied up in a run properly. Wow. I don't know if that's I, how it got to you, and it should I, have. I did not. I did not uh, get that. Yeah. All right, we're going to get some more information on that next week. Yep. All right. 
Next item on the agenda is a review of the decision to request moratorium extension based on Attorney General decision. So, uh, the Attorney General has approved Conway's moratorium bylaw, which says that we'll have a moratorium until December 31st, uh, 2018, mm -hmm. or six months after the promulgation of regulations, whichever comes latest. Uh, I got a note from um, uh, Mary McClintock asking, given that the current moratorium has been approved by the AG as written, including the clause about six months after the promulgation of regulations, does the select board still feel it is necessary to propose an extension to the moratorium? Please let us know. And um, if you do think it's necessary, uh, you are invited to attend the March 29th public hearing to explain the rationale for the extension. Yeah, you in, can, in their public hearing. You can you can put me down for that. Okay. okay. Uh, you saw the, the article in last Tuesday's mm -hmm. recorder. Okay, the the night after we discussed this with um, with the planning board uh, about how um, uh, they're going to try to bring this out in stages um, because of the complexity of this whole issue. So. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, for the purposes of our bylaw, once they come out with any regulation, that would set the clock ticking on our six months. So if they come out with regulation March 15th, the six months of our bylaw would be up September 15th. September 15th, well before December. Of course, it says whichever comes later. Right. So the December one would still be in in play. So we don't know yet whether or not they will come out with regulations on March 15th. Given that they have cut out a whole <coughs> chunk of their proposed work, mm -hmm. it's much more likely, I think, that they will come out with regulations on March 15th. But will those be final regulations? They would be. Yeah, they, the proposed regulations are out. They're being commented on. They would issue final regulations. Yeah. They would include um, consideration of all the comments they got. <coughs> so, so last week we had a two-to-one vote. Um, but was that for this warrant? I thought that was for a possible special town meeting that we're going to have. We would vote that. No, did, did we have this for this, this yeah, warrant? Did we for govern this, this in this warrant? Be, because we were thinking that there were more people coming to the annual town meeting. And so what, what item was that? It's, it's not, not here, here yet. yet. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't think we had just covered it here. Yeah. So I mean, I will. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's basically going to be the same as last time with a change in date. Right. Right. But okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I I didn't remember that we just talked about it at all. So. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Okay. Well, I wouldn't change my vote. I can say that. So. Okay. All right. Uh, so it's still, still, still be. Well, we voted on it last. It week. was two, two to one, one last week. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next item is. What I really think is that that the attorney general put this on there for all of the towns that didn't have any moratorium at all. Probably. And 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 you know when when we've gone to these meetings and talked to people, a lot of people ended up saying you guys were really smart in having your moratorium and voting it when you did. And uh, and this is what I believe is that this is attorney general's office extending the time that people can still pass a moratorium and that they will consider it and act on it, not aimed at people, I'll say, towns like us mm -hmm. that did pass a moratorium. Right. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I think you're right. So that's why I voted against it. Yeah. I. I, so. I understand. Okay. I understand. You just want to be be popular with certain people in town. I no, think. it has nothing to do with anybody in town. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am thrilled that we did pass a moratorium the first time around, and feel that's what we needed to do. Okay. So all we're doing is. Extend and you want to extend it? I don't think I don't think that that was the intent of what the attorney general was trying to get us to do. Okay. All right. All right. Next item on the agenda is to sign the contract for assessors' tax map maintenance. 
Um, how many signatures do we need on this stone? Uh, really, just one. Okay. All right. You're probably right. Okay. Th this is just um, just the contract to uh, uh, for Natalie so for uh, Natalie uh, Lee's software. Yeah, that's all this is. Yeah, it's it's for for maintenance on the right. tax map. Yeah. All right. Um, they voted for it, evidently. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. There. Yeah, they they've recommended it. Um, they've all I, signed. They've all, all, they've all signed that. Contract. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion that we uh, we sign this. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Tom, how about your update? Yeah. Uh, well, this came from some time ago. I'm, I'm saying I expect we will be receiving an additional petition for a Warren article, a resolution urging the town to move towards 100% renewable energy. Um, under departments, Chief Wimet is now investigating the oil spill, and the State Department of Environmental Protection has offered to work with him on it as well. Uh, that's good. I like that. Okay. Uh, I sent a note to Andy Castillo at the Recorder about the Conway Budget article, which came out uh, a few days ago on Saturday, suggesting that he mentioned that the debt exclusion is for a bridge repair. He mentioned we had a debt exclusion. He didn't mention what it was f uh, from, uh, which will be a more frequent occurrence now that the state is not maintaining mm -hmm. its bridge fund, at least to prior levels. Um, they fold that into uh, a transportation improvement program, <coughs> uh, which means it competes with all the other highway projects. Though I think they have a bridge, a, a bridge uh, sort of designation within that. So that's the new bridge fund, but it's not what it used to be. Uh, we have received materials for the local update of census addresses, which I've mentioned before. Uh, and I will be working with Ginny and Lee on getting updates completed and submitted. These updates will be the basis uh, for the 2020 census. So this is making sure the federal government has all of the addresses for Conway. Uh, as you know, I turned over the health insurance change process to town council. Uh, I believe we need to act on it quickly and have let him know due to the group in Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust need for advance notice if we intend to leave. Uh, we should be scheduling meetings with the committees soon. I have to form the committees and then have meetings with them. Um, it can happen quickly, but um, we need to get going. So what, what's our feeling on it right now in terms of, of staying or going? You know, Originally, I was fine with Maya's proposal, and looking more closely at it, I think it's probably, in the long run, more advantageous for us to stay with the Group Insurance Trust. I think, I think you're right. I think you're right, too. Um, there's, a, there's that quick benefit to Maya, but no guarantee so that un premiums will Unpredictability. Won't go up. Unpredictability, exactly so, right. So there will be, I think, some sentiment. Uh, from some that keeping the current plan would be worth an increase in premiums. Uh, so that's the, I think, where the debate is likely to happen. Mm -hmm. And we could keep the plan that we have now with Maya. Maya will, will offer us the plan that we have now, but I think it would end up costing more over time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Finally, please hold the date of Thursday, April 12th, for a workshop on the Municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Program. This is what uh, Matthew Beaton, the uh, Secretary of Energy and Environment, came out to the Iron Bridge right. in Shelburne right. Falls for an event to, to promote this program. And I've been working with Kimberly McPhee at the COG. This will be a long workshop. It'll probably be something like uh, four to eight. 4.30 to 8.30. Can um, I put it down for a, that? With, yeah. with a dinner in between. Put it down from 4 to 8.30 and you'll cover all the bases. Mm. Um, it, it's long. We will be inviting uh, people from the town of Ashfield to participate as well. This is a, um, one of the reasons... Will be held in this town? Here, I'm sorry? Will it be held in county? Yes, at the town hall here. 
because we were quick. Okay. And um, so that's um, there are a number of uh, questions to go through, policies to talk about. Uh, Kimberly will get the sense of the town. She'll come up with a plan. Uh, she will also interview people if she feels she needs to if they aren't able to show up. Um, that could include the highway superintendent. It could include other other people in town. So um, this is, however, supposed to be the main event. So uh, it, I do hope um, as many people attend as can possibly do so. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Um, next item, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? I do. Okay. What do we got? In reviewing the uh, YouTube video that FCAT did for our 250th uh, celebration, I would like about, to... You mean just last week? The, the, about, no, about no, the, the one year? Parade, the day of the festivities oh, okay. on Sunday. They did an absolutely fabulous job of this, this video. It's only three minutes long. And what I would like to see the Board of Selectmen do is have that put on town meeting floor prior to the meeting starting. Or, oh, show or it at town meeting. Show Absolutely. it at town meeting. Sure. Well, that is, and if yeah. we can get FCAT to coordinate it and do it for us, which I think we can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we always have our projector, you're gonna, right? You're going to do a proclamation we for can. the 250th committee. We, we, we have So that would be a that perfect at yeah. the same yeah. time, right? We have it yeah. Have you seen the video? No, I haven't. You've got to watch it. Okay. Yeah. It's done to music by our own town, local towns, kids and, and singers of uh, Mrs. Neal's and them. Yeah. It's right. fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful, uh, about the whole parade you see in there. Not, mm. It's a real short clip of it all. We can have a and little loop of it It's going. about all the yeah. people down yeah. on the ball field and, and, yeah. and they, they bring in from all aspects of the town, into the, including the Whaley Road area and everything. It's, it was fantastically done. I great. Thought. That's great. And it's only three minutes long. So Dang. That's terrific. We'll get to the moderator to introduce that. And Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. I don't know if you've seen the recent one, though, but no, I have not. at the Historical Society, FCAT taped that yeah. show, and there wasn't a lot of pizzazz in that, you know, you were, you were great, Bob, yeah, but many that. of the people who spoke... It was a little dry, yeah. you know, just just a camera, a head, talking head, somebody yeah. talking, yeah. and then, you know, and then the next person, the next person. And so FCAT, when they edited that, they took some of the great video that they had from a year ago, wow. and they spliced that yeah, in while people were talking about what happened to their house. What's it labeled under YouTube? Uh, if you look under FCAT Media, oh, it'll okay. be one of the most recent ones. It was, it was very well done. Hmm. How That's long is it? Well, the show was an hour and a half. You know, I don't know. The show was long. Great. That'd be wonderful. So, uh, I, I, but, I but I really, you know, I mean, I don't want to plug FCAT a lot, but they really do a great job on editing just like you're talking about. That was a really, that, that was fun for them because it was trying to well, take a whole weekend of footage. They, they, they took actual music from our home community yeah. that was going on that Sunday yeah. and incorporated that into the whole thing. Yeah. I thought it was fabulous. Great. That's great. Good. So when we had people here, you, you know, the the uh, assistant, uh, the lieutenant governor, yep. or or Richie Neal, they all came, and a couple of those times, FCAT came and videotaped that. Yes. So that caused them to have a lot of tape of what the houses looked like in various states. Because I bet if you so. took a survey of the people that come out to town meeting, probably ninety percent probably have not seen it. Uh, oh, that sure. would be a yeah. perfect time to that's very to great congratulate idea. the the committee and, and everybody that helped out on it for a wonderful and. Maybe we can get them to announce how much money we've been turned back to the town. Mm -hmm. So how much, how very few dollars it costs to put it on. Mm -hmm. Great, and great uh, idea. It'd great be idea. great, great closure for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Rob. Will say. you take care of lining it up? And With FCAT? FCAT, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to Chris. Yeah. And I think they have a pull-on screen up there in, in the gym. Well, I think yeah, I, I think there is one, and and we've used it in the past. Yeah, yeah there's a pull-down. Yeah. yeah. All right, next item uh, is mail. Okay, we have um, a rescheduled public hearing and meeting for the Frontier Regional School Committee, um, which is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Oh, no. That was a rescheduled meeting. We also have 
a hearing for the Conway Grammar School on March 15th at 6 o'clock. Okay. That's for their budget? That's their budget meetings, budget hearings for both of them. So what was the rescheduled meeting? I'm sorry. That was tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Frontier's budget. Frontier. And the 15th is Conway. And they're both at 6? They're Seven. both at 6 o'clock. Yeah. We got a letter from FERCOG um, concerning the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership. Uh, An update with some more information. Yes. Yeah, I, that's what um, it is. I can I can add to that that um, there are a lot of misconceptions about that. Yeah, right, you've been coming out in the paper. You've been reading the paper about them all. Yeah, um, it is meant to be a partnership with private landowners. Mm -hmm. So this really doesn't have anything to do with um, sort of large scale industrial development, unless a private landowner wanted to, you know, do something to their land which I think most private landowners here are already doing what they want to with their land. A lot of it has to do with forest management. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of environmental concerns that are addressed in there. And uh, three and a half years ago, a lot of towns, including Conway, voted to be part of this process mm -hmm. so that their residents could join in this overall plan if they wanted to and take advantage of any benefits right. that might accrue from it. And uh, it, it is not, it, it is intended to aid economic development because mm -hmm. that's what the people out here said they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, that, was, that was direct citizen input for that. And uh, however, it is not um, meant to promote a biomass plant. Uh, the, right. making yes. a, a wood pellet manufacturing facility. Right. Um, so uh, I think it's worthwhile making those clarifications. The, um, there are a lot of people who, um, on hearing some of the possibilities that are out there, have become very indignant, and uh, they have not heard that those might not be actual possibilities. And... Um, um, they have, some of them have been using extremely strong language in communicating with the uh, Franklin Regional Council of Governments. And so the, uh, the, the temperature is going up in the debate, so I thought it would be worthwhile to make those comments about the uh, program. The, uh, the FERCOG is organizing a meeting, uh, the executive committee uh, and a couple of other staff members with these people who are opposing the project uh, good. see if some clarification can get uh, get done because it's essentially a good project and if there has to be a uh, uh, a dropping of the pellet uh, the pellet plant that can be done because that seems to be the the major bone of contention is yeah. the pellet plant. If you, if you read if you read the partnership, it does mention pellets. It does quite yeah. a num not just once. Um, I mean, and it it really does promote the idea of schools switching to pellets for heat in a, in a number of places, mm -hmm. and promotes pellets as a way to use the, the waste, waste material, the less valuable wood that can't go towards lumber and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what causes everyone to be upset because, because pellet plants don't just use waste lumber. Pellet, once you have a pellet plant, it uses lots of lumber. But, and, but this, plan, uh, this, this it, plan is not a plan for a pellet plant. That would be something. That's a big that, product. It could happen right now. Yes, Anyone right. could set up a right. pellet plant in Conway right now if they But wanted. it's easy to read this plan and think that the plan is promoting that. And that's why people are upset. 
And 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 in in that letter that, that Tom let me read that letter, and and in that letter it it talks about a lot of ways that Furcog is looking to compromise, or you're know, looking yeah. to make uh, the harvesting of wood less a big piece of the of the partnership. And, and including uh, many more people in the partnership, in the, in the group that's running the partnership, who, who are, wouldn't be in favor of harvesting a lot of wood and things like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, okay. So I really, I, I think that they're on the right track. Uh, but there are people who are opposed to it that you will never change. That's true, yeah, okay. Okay, any other announcements? Okay, our next meeting is scheduled for Monday, March 12th in the Town Hall at 6 p.m. with a joint meeting with the Finance Committee at 6.30. If there's no more business to come before the board, um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Okay.